Connecticut will stay under a COVID emergency until next year. This afternoon, state lawmakers extended it until February. News 12 Connecticut's John Craven in our newsroom. John, this gives Lamont sweeping powers. And Della, this is the sixth time lawmakers have handed the governor that power. Critics say with high vaccination rates and low infection rates, it's time to end the emergency once and for all. Mask in schools, vaccine requirements for teachers, school bus drivers, and nursing home workers. They're all covered under Governor Lamont's COVID emergency. The resolution carries. Now, Connecticut lawmakers have extended it through next year to February 15th. What keeps me awake at night is the threat facing this state is the presence of the Delta variant. Half of states still have a COVID emergency, but here in the Northeast, where infection rates are low, it's only Connecticut and Rhode Island. I want to remind everyone that we had a full legislative session in 2021. Almost 300 bills were passed out of both chambers. Governor Lamont says he still needs flexibility to make quick decisions, especially rolling out vaccines to children. Top lawmakers from both parties can veto his orders. I want them involved. I want them to weigh in. I, they have the right to weigh in on any single executive order. I do. Homeless shelters say they need an emergency too. This is our mail dorm. Without it, the feds won't pay for hotel rooms this winter. Shelters cannot go back to normal. But opponents say the crisis is over. Republicans trying to shift the conversation to the recent crime wave ahead of the 2022 election cycle. COVID is a horrible and dangerous disease that has taken the lives of far too many adults, especially older adults. But rising violence and crime is stealing the lives of far too many young Connecticut residents today. Well, Governor Lamont says this should be the last time he asks for an extension, and that's good because even top Democrats say this is probably the last one he's getting. In the newsroom, John Craven, News 12, Connecticut.